Hey makeup lovers, James here back with another Kitbit makeup review. So in this week's episode, I'll be dipping as always into my makeup kit, sharing with you some of my absolute favorites, things that I can't live without and I use time and time again, but I've also got a few new treats which I can't wait to share with you. So let's get started with some skincare. So I was introduced to this brand maybe two or three months ago. It's from the super famous um, surgeon, Dr. Seba. So he's famous for all of these amazing anti-aging surgeries and just making people look amazing. So I thought, the skincare must be cool too. Um, and actually, it turns out that this is one of my absolute favorites from the range. So this is the Luminous Glow Cream. So obviously, when I'm, when I'm prepping the skin, moisturizer, any skin prep that I use is, is like vital to creating that beautiful, luminous, glowy skin that I love. So um, when I saw this from the Luminous Glow, it kind of had my name written all over it because I like something that gives you that kind of radiance and hydration. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why I love it. So first of all, First of all, actually the scent. So generally I don't really like um, skincare that's overly fragrance, but this one, it just smells so clean. It's probably the best way to describe it. It's slightly floral, but just really clean. Um, I know it's made in France as well. So I think, you know, when it comes to skincare, the French have it down. Um, so with the Luminous um, Glow Cream as well, what you'll find is, I'm just gonna hold it to the camera. There is a very slight radiance that runs throughout the, um, the moisturizer. And I would describe this as more of a gel texture, so it's going to be great if you are slightly oily skin. I'm a slightly more of an oily, like medium, medium to oily skin. Um, and I prefer something that feels really light and gel-like, almost like, like a water base. So I've swatched a little bit just to give you an idea of that radiance. Let's pop a little bit on my hand. So this is perfect underneath makeup because it will instantly give you that glow. So the pearl is slightly like cool toned, almost like a white pearl. But again, I've used it on every single skin tone and it doesn't flash off as white at all. And what you're left with is just the softest glow, amazing scent and just really great hydration. So in terms of skin prep or a bit of a treat for yourself, if your skin's feeling a little bit dull, especially as we're coming into the autumn winter months when you just want a little boost, but perhaps you don't want to use anything that's too sparkly or too shimmery, because this isn't a, a, really, it's not a highlighter at all. It's just a luminizing cream. Um, so it does a few things. Obviously it's gonna prep the skin, it's gonna give you that glow um, and it's gonna take care of any dry skin. So I've gotta say, that's my top pick from the Dr. Sabah skincare range. If you feel like a little bit of a treat, you know we are coming up to Christmas, um, a treat for yourself or a loved one, this is my top recommendation. Um, and that one is 72 pounds. But um, yeah, big fan of this one. So sticking with the face category, I want to move on to something like in the color world. So obviously we all know the iconic Kevin O'Quan was, um, is and was one of the, um, the best makeup artists of his, actual, of his time. So I've always been a fan of their products. I was introduced to, I think, what was the first product I got from Kevin O'Quan? I think it was Essential Skin Enhancer, you know, the really high coverage concealer, um, which I still use to this day, actually. But um, a few months ago, I treated myself to this. So this is the um, Kevin O'Quinn Contour Book, The Art of Sculpting Defining Volume 3. So first of all, you know, I'm a big fan of the packing, packaging. It's got that amazing holographic packaging, so the faces kind of move. But when you open up the um, contour inside, uh, sorry, the palette inside, you have a palette of, I think, some of his best sellers. First of all, let me talk to you about some of the contour shades. So there's three shades there. What I really like about the Kevin O'Quinn Contours um, whether you buy them singly or in a palette, is that they've got a really kind of cool, great undertone. Even when you get to the slightly warmer one, which is the Sculpting Deep, their undertone is really like a little bit more flat. They're not really bronzy, which makes a huge difference when you're sculpting the face um, because the shadow really, contour and shadow, should look like an actual shadow. So that, for me, when I'm looking for new contouring shades, I like to go something that is a little bit grey, you know, not like um, Halloween grey but beige, like a flat beige. So you get three shades of the sculpting um, powder in there. And texture wise, they're really, they're really fine. Like the powder is super fine, super jet milled. So that's the sculpting light. You can see it does have that slightly ashy undertone, but don't let ashy put you off. The sculpting deep, it's a little bit more chocolatey, a little bit richer. If you are looking for sculpting for a, a really deep skin tone, um, I'm really loving the Sephora palette, which I might talk to you about um, on another episode of this. But for now, let's stick with the Kevin one. So you get three shades of the sculpting. Then you have this beautiful like ombre blush. So it takes you through like a soft highlighting shade here, like a baby pink. And there's a video of me using this recently. 
that has a slight, that the blush has a slight pearl to it. Again, it's not a highlighter. It is more like a slightly pearl, almost like a satin tone blush. Then you get this beautiful pink in the um, center, and then it just carries on into this gorgeous beige. So when I'm using this, I'm still obsessing over the My Kiko 024 brush. So this one we launched maybe six months ago, maybe a little bit longer, but it's one of our best-selling face brushes because it does so many things. First of all, there's hardly any tension in this brush, so it's a really floppy brush. So when you touch that on the skin, you can really polish whether you're doing a soft sculpt like this, you know, whether I'm using kind of some of the sculpting shades just to really pinpoint areas or whether I'm doing like a beautiful soft blush, I can just use the very tip of the brush. Um, and whenever I'm using this brush, the 024, I always hold it really far down the handle. So I never hold my brushes close to the ferrule because you don't get as much um, leverage when you switch your holding position to really far down the handle. And then I always keep my pinky up as well. For some reason that helps pinky up and just dust it on the skin. So this brush and the, um, this palette are literally a match made in heaven. So just to finish off what's inside the Kevin Upon palette, you get two shades of highlighter. So there's this beautiful, rich, peachy shade here. Might swatch that on my hand. And what I like about the highlighters, they're not crazy frosty, you know, they're more like a beauty take on a highlighter. They're really fine, they're really jet milled. There's no like pigment, there's no sparkles in there. So you'll just get a beautiful frost on the skin. So you can see the gold just pops a little bit more. So all in all, I think as, uh, as far as tones go, this palette has it down. I can kind of travel through most skin tones. Like I said, if I was working on a slightly more deeper skin tone, I have a Sephora favorite, which I'll definitely feature on another episode. Um, but for now, I'm loving this. Really happy invested in it. And that one is the Kevin O'Quan Art of Sculpting Powder. Um, palette and that one's 47 pounds great for personal use if you're a bridal makeup artist this is literally every bride's fantasy right there and don't forget to check out the my kit co 024 my um, blush and polisher brush to go with it okay so moving on from the face let's talk about the eyes for a second and i'm going to go really old school a product that i've probably been through about four or five of in my career as a makeup artist and this is a little unassuming um, color wheel from ben nine so this is the Ben Nye Shadow Wheel SK3. I'll give you it there. And um, this is a cream color palette that if you, I mean, if you're a fan of a brown smoky eye, which let's face it, I think most of us are, it's kind of a, a bit of a makeup fail safe that, you know, you, you can always bust out on most occasions. This little color wheel will see you through all of that, whether you're doing uh, using as a base for an eyeshadow look, it's an amazing base, but it's also really gorgeous on, um, on its own you know, because there's so much pigment in the cream. Okay, so there's four shades in there. This one retails at around, I think the UK, 15 pounds. So super inexpensive. You can get it at Guru Makeup Emporium, as well as other um, slightly more pro brands carry Ben Nye. So if you just, maybe you can check out Pam London as well. They have, they carry this. Okay, so I swatched it really quickly on my little palette. So let's have a look at some of the shades. So in, the color wheel it will take you everywhere from a slightly more beigey neutral cream tone so that's the lightest one what i like about it there's a lot of red in these browns so if i'm you know thinking about a really rich smoky eye that's the second shade I really can't work out how to best show my wrist there you go so shade one shade two so they slightly go deeper um, as you carry on and then there's shade three, which is a beautiful chestnut brown. So what I like about it is I use this really instead of using a concealer on the lid. You know, I'm using this just as my base, the eyeshadow. So I'll take a fluffy brush and I'll just buff it all the way over the lid. Um, and sometimes, you know, that's all you need, just the cream. So there's the final shade in here, which is a really beautiful dark espresso brown. That's probably one I use the most. You can see it's got a lot of richness in it, loads of pigment. You can see all the four together. You travel all the way through from light through to dark. All of them have this really rich red undertone. And it's as simple as that. It's just one of those things that you always, you know, instead of using eye color all over your lid or using like trying to, to build up a base using an eyeshadow or an eye paint, treat yourself to the Ben Nye SK3 color wheel. Um, you really can't go wrong with it. So I just thought that was something that was super old school and it's such a familiar product to me to have. And I always go back to it time and time again. So check that one out. 
Okay, so from something really classic to something that is completely new. So these arrived in the studio uh, just a few days ago. So they're from Kat Von D. Um, so I'm still getting to know the Kat Von D range, actually. Um, I'm not super familiar. Um, so when these arrived the other day, these are the Dazzle Sticks. So this um, six shades, perfect for the season as well. You know, they're, um, if you want a little bit of um, shimmer or frost or a metallic, these um, guys are amazing. So um, obviously Kat Von D's vegan makeup as well, which I think is super, um, super important and really relevant. Um, let's have a little look. So in previous episodes, I've talked about my love of stick or cream um, products. So let's just move this one to the side. So let's go with this light champagne gold. This one is shade Hail Surge. Hail Surge. So I'm going to swatch this just in my hand here, just to give you an idea of just how metallic those are. I feel like it almost, the, the cream, it feels like a mousse. Like it feels really smooth and just unbelievably sparkly. So you can, I guess you could use these straight onto the eye if you wanted to, or you could take a soft blending brush and maybe take some on a palette and use it that way. But let's just blend that in just to give you an idea. I mean, how stunning is that? You know, worn on its own or as a base to eyeshadow. So that's the lightest one in the, um, in the collection. Let's go in with something a little bit more colorful. So there's a beautiful, slightly red tone called force field so that's more of a copper shade let's just have a little look here okay great so there's there is a little bit of shimmer like a, almost a little bit of a glitter reflex running through the product but um what i'm enjoying most is just the impact you get straight away and they appear to be super easy to blend there there you go so you can see there you've got that really red red brown it's almost got a bit of a duo tone to it I just thought they were really interesting as I'm dipping into more frosts and shimmers and sparkles for the season. I think these will come in super handy, you know, something quick and easy that you can just blend over the lid. Um, definitely got Christmas written all over it. So that's, there's six shades of those from Kat Von D. They're the um, Dazzle Sticks and they are 19 pounds. So not bad at all, actually. So I think definitely pick, top pick from the, from the range would be that champagne gold I showed you in the beginning. There's a silver. Um, Sometimes I find silver a little bit harsh on the eyes, so I prefer golds and slightly more warm tones. Um, but I think my fave's got to be that one. Hail Surge, that champagne gold, top pick. My next product is from an amazing indie brand here in the UK called House of Glam Dolls, started by the one and only David Horn. So this powder, mannequin powder, is something that I always have in my kit for touch-ups, whether I'm working in beauty, whether I'm working on set, film, TV. This is my go-to pressed powder. Um, what I like about this, now if you're familiar with um, say Max Studio Fix, for example, you'll know that sometimes it's an amazing powder, but when you touch it with it time and time again, sometimes it can get a little bit heavy throughout the day. With the mannequin powder, it doesn't do that. I've touched up three, four, five times with this and it just keeps the skin really beautifully soft, beautiful for HD camera um, and great for beauty as well. So I think it comes with six shades. This is the light medium here. Now it's like a very refined texture that just blurs the light. You're never gonna get a crazy, super matte finish from it. It always, it seems to really love the light, this mannequin powder. I think that's got to do with the way that it's been jet molded. Well, like when I feel it in my fingers, it feels really refined. Um, and that's why I like it for beauty because you can, if you touch up, touch up with it, you can get the camera really close and you still won't see powder. You'll just see beautiful set skin. Um, there's some great shades for slightly deeper skin tones too. So this is the deep. Um, and we go, uh, there's one deeper than that as well. Um, and the retail part, uh, the price point's amazing, 15 pounds each for those powders. I think I'm on my second batch already because I love them so much. So that's the House of Glam Dolls Mannequin Powder. If you're looking for a perfect um, set, setting powder for your kit, something that's pressed as well, which makes it really easy to use on the go. Um, I fully recommend, I'm a big fan. Um, okay guys, so that brings me to the end of this kit bit. Um, as always, make sure you like and comment anything that you want me to see review as well. Um, leave it below and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.